The Portico is a self-expanding valve. It's made by nitinol. Uh, the unique thing about that nitinol frame is, first of all, the cells are quite large, so you have a high tissue uh, frame ratio. So if you have a chunk of calcium in the annulus or in the leaflet, it tends to accommodate inside the cells, which is going to minimize the degree of PVL. And also the inflow part of the frame is a cylindric, it's straight, which makes it more stable. It doesn't tend to dive into the LV as you release it at some of the other valves. And also it doesn't compress as much of the left ventricular outflow tract and thereby carrying a risk of conduction abnormality and the need for permanent pacemaker. It got a bovine a pericardium used for, for the leaflets and the leaflets are positioned in an internal position which make uh, the pacing very hemodynamic stable during the deployment. Pressure won't drop, there's no need for pacing, which is an important feature in, in patients with impaired LV function. And then finally, it's a recapturable system. Uh, you can deploy it up to about 80-90% and still recapture it. So, so you can aim, you can be very ambitious from the beginning, you can aim for a high position, and if you have a pop out, you can reach it and go back again and try once again. And everyone recognizes that a high implantation is very important if you want to have a low degree of PVL and also a low pacemaker rate. Since 2007, where the first two valves was introduced to the market, Edwards and Metronix uh, valve, those two valves have been dominating the market. Uh, and I would say that it's two good valves, which can probably treat about 80% of the patients with very good outcome. But there's still room for, for new valves on the market, which will fulfill uh, not only the same indication as those two valves, but also specific indications, anatomical or physiological indications for in a target patients. The protocol valve have several features which uh, make it a unique valve uh, for, for quite a few patients. First of all, in a combination with the solar patch sheet, it's the smallest introducing into the femoral artery, which opened up for treating more patients as a transfemoral approach. And, and I think evidence has consistently shown that patients who have a transfemoral approach have a better outcome than patients who have an alternative access. The liver system is also very flexible, so if you have tortuous anatomy, acute angulation in the aortic arch is a very safe uh, device to introduce into the patient. And also the flexibility of the delivery system will allow you to use your guide wire to get coaxial and even very challenging anatomy such as horizontal aorta. The design of the portico also have uh, large cells which uh, will help to minimize the degree of PVL after the type procedure, which is very important. And maybe finally, the valve is located in an internal position, which means that the patient will be stable during the valve deployment, you, there's no need for pacing. So even patients with impaired LV function or hemodynamic instability patients will tolerate a type procedure using a core valve very well. Yeah, Portico is, uh, St. Jude is working on a next generation valve and I think one of the features they're going to integrate is a ceiling skirt, outer, out, outer ceiling skirt on the valve, again to try to minimize the PVL rate to, a, to hopefully the same level as you see after a surgical aortic valve replacement. And, and also try to make the valve system even smaller, to have a smaller uh, access diameter in the, in the femoral vessel. And I think those are features which is important if you want to move TAVI forward, if you want to go into not only low-risk patients, but also younger patients uh, in the future offer those patients TAVI instead of surgical aortic valve replacement.